But Sheikh, so I, I, we can go into like some specifics inshallah later on on like Islamic mortgages as an example of I yeah. guess this discussion. Yeah. Um, but one like broad question I wanted to ask you, which is I think it's a it's a big tussle that we have to kind of weigh up, which is you know how do we in a, like this globalized world where everything is so interconnected now, yeah, and it's so. Like, you know, when you're developing, you know, financial technology these days, you're using, um, you know, software from America and Germany, regulation in the UK, it's all kind of combined yes. together. Yes. And the money flows are, yes. you know, you might be, you know, your data might be going to Latvia or something. How do you, um, you know, provide a system that is, uh, you know, that is pure, truly Islamic. And what I mean by that is, you know, the system that we use in the UK is not really a UK system anymore. Like the UK government, I don't think has that much control over it yeah. anymore. It's almost like these big corporates yes. these days, they set the agenda yeah. and, and the governments are kind of always trying to play catch up. Yes. So from, from what you're saying, I think it sounded like we need like an Islamic way of you know, an alternative, but how does that, you know, yeah. what's the excellent. story? Yeah, excellent. This is really, you know, a deep discussion. Okay. And see, remember, I would like to say again, yeah, I would like to re-emphasize on what I have said that even anti-Islamic societies, yeah, they can still from Islamic, they can still benefit from Islamic finance and Islamic finance can operate as Islam, Islam in general, mm. can operate, can function, can flourish in any alien system. This is the nature of Islam. That's why no one can stop Islam. No. Yeah. Similarly, Islamic finance can also uh, exist in alien systems, in anti-Islamic system. However, it will not flourish that flourishment if there is no ideological framework. This is what I am saying. Yeah, because some people might misunderstand this point. The, 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 regarding your point, this is a very deep, you know, discussion. And now it is discussed you know, on, on high levels. Yeah, they say, okay, what shall we do? The entire global financial system is not just non-Islamic, is anti-Islamic. So mm. how, so what shall we do? So we need to work and this is, see, this is the type of solutions that I always recommend. And these types of solutions that I always recommend, they are, uh, they are based on the Islamic philosophy. Yeah. The Islamic philosophy, if you read the Quran, you will see in the Quran, for example, that Quran is dealing with all types of people, all types of circumstances, all types of situations, all types of, yeah? If you want to talk about peace, so it is there in the Quran. If you want to talk about fighting, yes? Uh, it is there and so on you will find both if you want to talk about uh, love you will find it in the Quran if you want to talk about hate it is there in the Quran because we are human beings the one who loves he hates the one who hates mm -hmm. he is he loves no one says that I love I don't hate it means that he has no emotions and he is just cheating himself here yeah. okay this is anyway a, a huge intellectual area uh, we can touch on it another time now when we talk about uh, what is the solution the solution is based on what i have said the solution is a multifaceted solutions solution uh, which means that we need to work on different dimensions so we need to work on a dimension whereby if we can produce another Islamic system. Mm. This is number one. Yeah. However, we should not, and this is wrong. Many people, many Islamic groups, many intellectuals, you know, when they believe in one solution, they just go for that and they become anti other solutions. Mm. Yeah. And this is wrong, whether in social, regarding social problems, financial problems, political problems, there might be, and this is life. Okay. And life is interdependent. All systems in life are interdependent. So you cannot just find a solution, 
okay in isolation and, uh, yeah in isolation or exclusively from other solutions so we need we need some people maybe some countries to work on producing another alternative completely mm. uh, different yeah whether that is based on gold or that is based on another system which i am recommending i might mention it okay in 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 a minute on the other hand we need also to work within the systems or the system that we have now however when we work within that we need to understand what we can compromise on and what we cannot compromise mm. on 